Uh, champagne, please. Right. Uh, still eat on the rocks, but a fresh glass, please. White wine, please. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 Do you remember me from the bookstore? Of course I remember you, yes. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how's your aunt? <laughs> She's great. Yeah. I better go deliver this. Uh, I have a very thirsty date. She's part camel. Joe, right? It's Joe, isn't it? And you are Kathleen. Kathleen, <laughs> Kelly. Two white one, please. I cannot believe that you were speaking to Joe Fox. Joe Fox? Joe Fox. As in? As in uh, he's going to take over everything. Fox? Your last name is Fox. F-O-X. God, I didn't, I didn't realize. I didn't, I didn't know. Who you were with? I didn't know who you were with. Excuse me? It's from The Godfather. <laughs> Sorry, it's from The Godfather. It's <clears throat> when, the, uh, when the movie producer realizes that Tom Hagen is an emissary of Vito Corleone. You know? It's just before the horse's head ends up in the bed with all the bloody sheets, you know, wakes up and it's, ah, 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 ah. Never mind. You were spying on me, weren't you? You probably rented those children. Why would I spy on you? Because I am your competition, which you know perfectly well, or you would not have put up that sign just around the corner. The entrance to our store is around the corner, and there's no other way of saying that. It's not the name of our store, it's where it is. And you do not own the phrase around the corner. What is that? What are you doing? What is that? What are you doing? You're taking all the caviar? That caviar is a garnish. Look, the reason I came into your store is because I was spending the day with Annabelle and Matt, and I was buying them presents. I'm the type of guy who likes to buy his way into the hearts of children who are his relatives. There's only one place to find a children's book in the neighborhood. I, that will not always be the case. And it was yours, and it is a... A charming little bookstore. You probably sell, what, $350,000 worth of books in a year? How did you know that? I'm in the book business. I am in the book business. I see. And we are the Price Club. Only instead of a 10-gallon vat of olive oil for $3.99 that won't even fit under your kitchen cabinet, we sell cheap books. Me, a spy. Oh, absolutely. I have in my possession the super-duper secret printout at the sales figures of a bookstore, so inconsequential yet full of its own virtue that I was immediately compelled to rush over there for fear that it's going to put me out of business. What? What? Hey, how you doing? Frank Navasky. Joe Fox. <laughs> Joe Fox. F-O-X. The inventor of the superstore, of course. The enemy of the mid-list novel, the destroyer of city books. Tell me something, really, how do you sleep at night? 